Hello and welcome. This is Double O Debbie, and today I'm going to answer two simple questions. <laughs> uh, one, what have I been doing this wrong the whole time? What is the difference between a grid pattern and an adjacent pattern? <laughs> is it true? Have I been building my reactors wrong this whole time by using a grid pattern? That's what I want to know. <laughs> and what is the difference between a basic extreme reactor and a reinforced? Uh, is it worth it to upgrade to a reinforced? Um, and, and why would you want to <laughs> if you already have a reactor? I mean, what? <laughs> So let's get down to it. Um, but first, let's do this. Oh, forgot I logged off. Um, why will it not? Anyway. Apparently, I can't reset the day now. Uh, I did log off, and I guess maybe it's just a little bit bugged. But I haven't really added uh, the components to this. I just built them. Um, let's see. Let's just look up a cap. Yeah. Uh, we want an active energy power tab. There are two. There are passive and active. You definitely want the active uh, because it will actively put power out. I don't, I'm not sure that there's a block that actually takes power. Um, that's, that's weird. I never thought of that. If, if you could have a block take it because the passive one just holds the power. It doesn't like push it out. Uh, so you would have to get some type of cable or block that actually draws the power out, doesn't just receive it. Uh, so I definitely want this, this guy right here. And we'll need one over here on that guy too. Uh, oop, oop. That's the basic guy. Um, I think I'm just going to search for this. We need the controller. Oh, wow. There are lots of controllers in this mod pack. Oh, I'm playing in the Direwolf 20 1.18 version. Aha, uh -huh. this is what it looks like. But we want the basic guy. There we go, and and it's formed. Oh, we need to put uh, this one in. Um, can you manually put? I don't think you can put um, your fuel in. So we'll need a fuel port. Oh, solid. Uh, it's a solid. Ooh. Can't do that. Okay, the vanilla thing doesn't have the um, right click feature where you right click and it kind of uh, deletes the previous con uh, contents of the chat. So, reactor solid access port basic. Uh, yeah, let's put that guy up there in case we need him later. Uh, so you basically need, you have to have at least one, but two is recommended because you can have one be an output for your uh, waste, which <laughs> is good to keep your reactor running for long periods of time. Uh, 
uh, because you lose efficiency when you have waste. There. Now I can uh, put some fuel in. Oops. I was going to see. Do... Yeah, it should tell me without putting anything in there. So let's grab out. I keep wanting to push control G to open my <laughs> my network and it's not there. Oh, okay. Uranium. Yeah, I need to just type instead of to Let's see, grab it. Put some in there. Uh oh. Funny things are happening. There we go. And this this size should hold almost two stacks. This is the size I built in my let's play. Oh wow, because this has a different pattern, I actually have more control rods in this. So I need more fuel. Wow, almost three stacks in that. So just in that alone, I would say this one's definitely going to put out a lot more power. Uh, <laughs> but these two guys are ready. Um, let's turn them on and see what happens. What's the difference in the grid versus the donut shape? Uh, even having a single fuel rod is supposed to be more efficient than um, say a, a grid pattern itself but this is producing 3.26 k fe a tick which matches about the same as what i built because this is exactly like the one i built uh, so what does this one do oh it's definitely doing more but it's also a lot hotter Wow, 4.2 KFE. So that's pretty significant. That's an extra 1,000 FE a tick. Uh, but what about the consumption rate? 1.9. Oh, it is, it is not quite as efficient as that, but I am using, and I'm using more fuel but it is definitely more power. Uh, but I would think so because it has more fuel rods. Uh, there's only five in this setup, but there's eight in this one. Uh, so for the basic um, reactor, I would definitely say uh, this is a better setup because uh, with basic, you are limited to a five by five area. So you can only have so many fuel rods in there. And this one maximizes the amount of fuel rods you can stuff in there and minimizes the uh, amount that's just water. So uh, you're definitely increasing the amount of power. <laughs> Look at that heat. Uh, once you get up, one of the differences between the basic reactor casings and the reinforced reactor casings, this is my second question, is what is the difference between the basic and reinforced? Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know if there's a difference on like the power output. I do know the main reason why you want to upgrade to reinforce is that you can get your reactors bigger than just a five by five by five <laughs> uh, so you could make as big of a reactor as as you want you could go crazy and make it at 121 by 121 <clears throat> by 33 <laughs> i don't know uh if you have this stuff for it, you can build it, uh, basically. Uh, 
And then uh, I have another question, but I'll just make that separate. So we saw that there is a difference between this, uh, but it just makes sense that you're stuffing uh, more, more control rods in there, so you should be producing more power. Yeah. That's, that's, I never really thought of it like that. I just thought it would be more efficient like this. Uh, but it is. Uh, it depends on, I guess, your needs. Like this one is much uh, lower temperatures uh, and it's much more fuel efficient. Uh, but it also produces less power. So, um, I guess it's just what you need, uh, but uh, these don't explode, so I guess having it have the higher heat isn't as bad as not having that, that extra power. I mean, that's a 30% increase, an extra 30%. So, good beans. Um, now I want to see, <laughs> is there a difference between this setup if you upgrade it to reinforced? Um, because my question is, I have two little reactors that were running my base. Um, basically like this in the beginning. <laughs> so... Is it worth it to upgrade to those, or should I just build another bigger reactor, or I don't know. That's what I want to know. <laughs> so let's get out our um, doodads again. We're going to need another controller. Uh, but a reinforced reactor. Let's get rid of that. Uh, do do do. Controller. And we, oh, we need the power tap too. Reinforce. There we go. And. Then the, oh, I should have put them over here too. And uh, uh, what was the other one? A solid access port. Solid access port reinforced. Okay. Okay, let's make this one out. And that will automatically dump out the waste. Um, can I access this? Is it because it didn't form? It's not a valid interior. Okay, hold on. I have to turn this off because I can't read the whole mess. Molten enderium is not valid for the reactor's interior. That, okay, that is a good, a good example because um, when I used to play, when it was big reactors way back when, molten enderium was a, a coolant that you could use inside of the reactor. So I need to, uh, what I want to do, I guess, is try an enderium block. Here we go. Ooh. 
And is this, yeah, that's a reinforced. Now is it? Yay, okay. <laughs> now I should be able to turn this thing out and get some more uranium. Oops. Hopefully uh, that will be enough. Okay. So this one's just like uh, this one, except it's reinforced. So I wonder what the difference is on that. So it doesn't look like it's producing more power. Actually, it looks like it's producing less uh, because it's, it's at max heat, I think. But it's about the same fuel burn-up rate but I think it's like 4.2. Yeah, so it's like 200 FE a tick difference, but about the same burn up rate. So it's a little bit hotter. So you actually get less power from that setup. But to be fair, you could make it bigger and <laughs> it would give you more power. That one you can't get bigger. Uh, so uh, my other question is, what if you use a different coolant? Uh, what are the different types of coolants? But I want to go over that, but I just want to see that, that it's different. It's different if you use something different. Oh, and look at that. So this is going to exceed the 4.2 by a little bit, uh, but it also lowered the temperature a lot more uh, than just the water did. Uh, so that is good because that also lowered the fuel burn-up rate as well. Uh, so that's also good. Uh oh, yeah, so that answers the question. Um, what is the difference? So, the difference, the main difference is that you can get bigger than a 5x5. Five five. Uh, it's not really better than the basic one, it's a little bit worse on the energy output, but the bonus is you can go bigger. This one you can't. This is the max size. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. Sorry about that, buddy. So yeah, anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.